now uh, click on the skylight and uh, tick the cast shadows this looks like uh, yeah. no shadows here and uh, I am uh, wait a minute right the way you can see okay uh, yes here you can see it uh, the shadows are created here on the pots uh, but the table is missing so uh, what we will be fixing now is uh, partly at right click on the table uh, object properties uh, visible to camera uh, select the skylight below that for uh, 0, 0 0.66 uh, to 18 and uh, then uh, go to create panel uh, target direct Go to the top view here, and drag to the center, I press R to scale and increase it so that it fits the entire table here. Then go to the side view here and lift it up. Yep, uh, and uh, go to, uh, I'm just going to uh, Change the single so I can make a preview render here. And uh, this is what it's going to look like. Oops, wrong viewport. Uh, Shift Q used to work. Uh, this is how the pots uh, will look uh, with the shadows. As you can see, it looks much better. Press console and uh, Go to the modify panel on for the uh, target directional light and uh, change the shadows. Tick the on box and change to area shadows. Uh, and uh, then press, yeah, then press the uh, render production button. And uh, oh, disturbing. Uh, I'm just going to change this to single like that and uh, then press render uh, this is uh, with uh, the shadows from the target directional light and uh, from the skylight and it's looking pretty good and uh, I am uh, going to settle for this and uh, render this out. Uh, but uh, to only render the shadows, I am going to create or uh, use this. Uh, maybe it's cut out from the tutorial, so I'll do it again. I select a new uh, material slot, press standard, and then select match shadow. Okay, uh, then I will select all the objects. Uh, and assign material to selection and I will uh, make one more test render here uh, this will look completely black but uh, since it is only the shadows it will only render the alpha channel so if you if I click this I can see these are the shadows uh, the image is inverted so uh, the blacks are white and uh, so the whites are black so uh, this is only the shadows so I'm going to render out the se a sequence with only shadows and uh, then continue in After Effects this is how you render it go to render setup active time segment uh, make sure it's the right uh, resolution go down to files uh, go to where you want to render your 
uh, files, uh, type shadows or uh, whatever you want, uh, select PNG image, save. Then uh, make sure you uh, render through the camera viewport and then it's good to save so nothing uh, gets lost or something and uh, then hit render. Uh, when this is fi finished I'm going to uh, continue this project in After Effects.